Right there is a new push to help veterans receive the health care that they need. Some, including those who attempt suicide, lose their medical coverage because of the way they're discharged. And one veteran tells our Louisa Muller that system is failing thousands of men and women who bravely serve this country. I was close enough to the towers when they fell on September 11th to see the smoke from my hometown. Set against the backdrop of a peaceful lake in Ashburnham, Christopher Goldsmith told us about one of the most tumultuous times in his life. His deployment to Iraq at age 19 where he photographed atrocities. Sometimes it meant that I would be taking pictures of bodies, um, victims of torture. His resulting battle with post-traumatic stress disorder and a suicide attempt. I took a fistful of Percocet and a bottle of vodka. He woke up handcuffed to a hospital bed and unable to make it to the flight for his second deployment, he received a general discharge from the Army. I went from being one of the top soldiers in my battalion to being treated like a criminal. A general discharge makes service members ineligible for some VA services, but thousands of veterans have also been given an other than honorable discharge, disqualifying them from VA health care. These bad papers, as Goldsmith calls them, can result from disciplinary problems caused by behaviors linked to PTSD and traumatic brain injury, leaving the most vulnerable vets in the dark. There are 505,000 veterans with bad paper. But just yesterday, under the new VA Secretary David Shulkin, VA medical centers started offering 90 days of emergency mental health care to service members with an other than honorable discharge. Goldsmith says it's a good start, but it's not good enough. It doesn't make any sense to wait for a veteran to reach a state of emergency to start providing care. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.